Welcome to Discover Talent Presents. I am your host Vinod. In this series, we will explore financial modeling. If you are interested in learning Excel and financial formulas, then you are in the right place. Stay with us and learn about financial modeling together. Cool. So these are the formulas which we gonna cover in this entire series. So without further ado, let's quickly start. We'll simply click over here, which is net present value considered as a NPV right in MS Excel simply will add a formula here in G2 correct I'll simply add a formula called NPV here I have a rate so I have I can say 0 0.1 for me comma B2 until B6 bracket close press enter cool and then control D to drag the formula down what is the meaning of this particular formula so I'll quickly explain you this calculates a net present value with discount rate of 10% which is your 0 0.1 cool let's move ahead to understand internal rate of return cool so for that what you need to do simply any of the cell where you want the result right is equal to IRR again I'm repeating internal rate of return which is IRR and then I'll simply select this B2 until B6 so it's a 13 percent this calculates the internal rate of return let me quickly jump to the next segment which is our PMT a formula called PMT correct we have 0 0.05 divide by 12 comma 60 comma minus 10,000 cool so this is my PV and then bracket close press enter you can see the result available this calculates a monthly payment for a loan with a 5% annual interest over a T period cool so this is how we can calculate our monthly payment loan so this is done future value now uh, in Excel itself right we have this FV formula so for that how to add it simply press FV and then again 0 0.05 which is your 5 percent comma 5 and PER it's your 5 0 comma minus 1000 bracket close press enter so this is the value which we are getting a result so what is the exact meaning of this uh, formula so this calculates the future value of an investment correct with a 5% annual interest rate over a 5 years cool now let's calculate a PV which is your present value let me keep this formula over here PV 0 0.05 comma NPER it's my 5 again comma minus 200 bracket close press enter so this is my present value and this formula what it defines basically right this calculates the present value of annuity with 5% annual interest rate over 5 years with payments of 200 cool let me just calculate here XNPV 0 0.1 comma B2 until B6 and then A2 until A A6 cool again this year is a dummy data set for me folks okay you can add appropriate year so you will get a result correctly for now just in a demo purpose I'm just now showcasing you correct so what we have did so far cool so we got this result added added correct 
so let me just convert this into the rupees so basically this calculates the net present value for cash flows that occurs at irregular intervals cool now we'll move ahead we'll check internal rate of return for a cash flows correct now again XIRR B2 directly and then simply I'll select a year over here good and press enter let me just convert this into a rupees so like this so again due to this dummy data set what we have added over here we are getting this result folks okay in the, this calculates the internal rate of return for cash flows that occurs at irregular intervals now compound annual growth rate over a four years we want to calculate that okay so which is called as a CAGR compound annual growth rate so how to calculate that so very simple to do in Excel so I will say E6 first I'll say is equal to sign and then bracket open E6 for me E6 is this divide by E2 and then this particular sign I will say 1 by 4 close minus 1 cool so this is the result which we got this will help you to understand the compound annual growth rate for over a four years great so let's move ahead debt service coverage ratio cool so let me just put over here is equal to sign sum I will say C2 until C6 bracket close divide by sum again I will say F2 until F6 bracket close press enter so this calculates a debt service coverage ratio which we will calculate as a DSCR now the return on investment okay which is ROI and uh, majority times startups right uh, any of the companies and the financial things right that time we use this formula okay more frequently so how to calculate the ROI here I uh, have simple formula added over here so let me just press is equal to sign and then just say sum sum from B2 until B6 which is my cash flow right minus E two which is my investment right and then I press a bracket here it's closed now again I divide by this investment only and simply this so this is my return on investment okay if you follow these steps I hope you found this useful folks so this is how we have covered entire formulas financial modeling in MS Excel this is the dummy data set what we have available okay if in case uh, you have any questions okay comments feel free to add in below comment section we are happy to address those and please don't forget to subscribe us thanks for watching have a great day ahead